Hello all. When you use Acrobat Pro, you have the ability to create, share, and interact with PDFs across desktop, mobile, and web seamlessly. And while creating and sharing PDFs across all platforms is all well and good, if you can't do all of those things without complete security, there's no value in that capability whatsoever. And at Adobe, we know this, and that's why we've put security at the top of the list of what's important with your Acrobat experience. In this video, I'll show you one security feature in Acrobat Pro's Protect tool, how to create passwords and encrypt with passwords. Okay, I'm in my Acrobat Pro account. And the document that I have open is just your basic NDA. I do wanna make sure that this content can't be tampered with, so I'm going to show you a few ways to ensure that it isn't. Let's take a look at the first security feature, the Protect tool. So I'm gonna come down here and open it. The Protect tool is designed to protect customers from any malicious code that attempts to use that PDF format to write or read from a computer's file system. Adobe Acrobat gives you a few ways to protect your PDFs, and the most basic way is coming up here and protecting using password. So with this selected, you can require the user to enter a password for viewing or for editing. All you need to do is just enter in your password, and you'll see over on the right hand side, I've got a strength meter telling me the strength of my password. So this one's weak. We'll talk about that in a moment. Then when you hit apply, now the user is going to need to enter that password to access the PDF. For more advanced, more secure protection, you can come down here and you can encrypt your PDF with a password. This is going to allow you to limit access to a PDF by still setting passwords, and you'll also be able to restrict certain features such as printing and editing. And to enable this, you've got two different types of passwords. You have a document open password, and you have a permissions password. As a side note, when I was learning about Acrobat security, I did get a little confused here. I'm asking myself, what's the difference between password protection feature that I just showed you and the encrypted password protection? So here it is. A password protected document is a method of securing that document, but if you have someone who really wants to access it with malware, etc., they probably can with some effort. Encrypted password that we're talking about here is more secure. Encryption is an added level of security over password protection, which alters the underlying character string of a file. So encryption simply means to translate that data into a secret code. To read that encrypted file, you need a decryption key to decipher that code. Okay, so a document password, also known as a user password, requires a user to type a password to open a PDF. So I'm gonna bring in one, and now you can see my strength meter likes that pretty much. So it's always going to determine the strength of your password. You can also have compatibility options down here, which selects the type of encryption that's going to be used. And the rule of thumb should be pick a version of Acrobat that's really compatible with the recipient's version. Now with the latest Acrobat selected, you have the option to encrypt all document contents. This means that all contents of that document will be encrypted, and search engines won't be able to access it. Also, you can encrypt all document contents except metadata. And this means that all of the components of the doc will be encrypted, but search engines will be able to access the metadata. And thirdly, you can encrypt only file attachments. This means that the rest of that doc is going to be encrypted. So you have a lot of options here. I'm gonna go up here to permissions password. This is our second type of permissions. Setting a permission password it allows you to require a password in order to change permission settings. So using a permissions password, you can restrict printing, editing, and copying content in the PDF. Recipients don't need a password to open the document in Reader or Acrobat. They do need a password to change the restrictions you've set. So to put that simply, with the permissions password, you can keep people from changing your PDF or you can allow them to change it. It's totally your call. So under printing, you can allow for low res or high res printing. And then you can allow for various changes like deleting or rotating pages, filling in form fields, commenting, signing existing form fields, or allowing for any changes except extracting pages. Okay, you can also enable the copying of text, images, and other content. And you can enable, let me check that, you can enable text access for screen reader services. So your password 
options, they are many. If the PDF is secured with both types of passwords, it can be opened with either password. However, only the permissions password allows um, the user to change the restricted features. And because of the added security, setting both types of passwords is often beneficial and it is also commonly practiced.